दसन कांति चूने सहित लीव आयुष दंता लेते दत्तुल एति प्रश्न दहाया क्वालकाई The Yuan Wang-5 vessel has been one of the reasons Sri Lanka has been in the spotlight for 2 weeks as the island tries to not disappoint two of the biggest relief providers. The Chinese research vessel was scheduled to dock at the Hamantota port on the 11th of August and stay within the country's territorial waters until the 17th of this month for what the Chinese Ministry of Foreign Affairs termed as a visit for replenishment purposes. However, the vessel did not arrive at the port yesterday and is according to the Atlas software data collected by the Norwegian company Maritime Optima, located 612 nautical miles southeast from the Hammarthorpe port. The ship is reportedly awaiting permission to dock at the port as it completes 29 days at sea since departing the Taikang port in China on the 14th of July. According to the article published by the Washington Post, the Chinese research vessel has been a source of arising tensions. and the symbol of mounting geopolitical tug of war between not only India and China but the United States as well the article went on to say that indian and us officials have strongly pressured the sri lankan government to revoke access to the port following which sri lanka's foreign ministry requested the chinese officials to reconsider the arrival date of yuan wang 5 vessel to the country further the article read that while the arrival of the chinese navy ship at hamantota is not strategically significant Indian and US officials argue that the move could be viewed as Sri Lanka giving China special treatment given that Sri Lanka needs China to get on board with restructuring the loans Sri Lanka has with China in order to make headway with the IMF program. In the meantime, the Union of Independent Parties issued a statement today saying that the government must grant permission for the Chinese vessel to enter Sri Lanka. The statement also called on the government to work promptly to ensure that the issues arisen on a state level be dealt and resolved in that capacity while protecting the long-term bilateral relations Sri Lanka shares with China. The Union of Independent Parties also stated that Sri Lanka will not be able to bear the brunt of misunderstandings and estrangement that might take between Sri Lanka, India and China as both the countries have provided economic aid to the country. Eight representatives, including the leader of the National Freedom Front, Vimal Veeravansa, leader of the Pivituru Hello Romaya, Udaya Gamma Pillar, General Secretary of the Democratic Left Front, Vasudeva Nanakara, signed the announcement issued by the Union of Independent Parties.